Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are still tuned into the biggest show in the motherland, Cape Town TV, boop, boop, the boop, People's boop. Channel. I am still your resident lady with the sauce, uh, Nelly. Nelly with the sauce, mm -hmm. with the sauce, with the sauce. Well, Nelly, it is festive season. And you know, mm -hmm. festive season, what it brings, the enjoyment, yes. the playing show, the soft life. But most importantly, yeah. events, events, events. Absolutely. Speaking on events, Namplanji, we are joined by the founder of Concerts in the Park, Mr. Charles Lindsay Bowman, who's going to be talking about his event happening on the 4th of December. Yes. Headliners are Mikasa. Listen. We've got Shoma Josie. My Josie, not so much. My Josie. Oh, my Josie, my bad. And we've got Saudi Khan as well, who will be lining up and gracing the stage. Mr. Bowman, thank you so much for joining us today. No, it's great fun. Great, great fun. fun. Such a pleasure here. to yeah. have you here today. Let's... No, it's a privilege also to be here. Thank you very much. First thing is first, yeah. let's talk about the whole entire concerts in the park. How did it come about? Yes. Oh, how it came about, it came about many years ago, mm -hmm. 11 years ago. Uh, I was involved with the Vaux Park, putting it back as it meant to be. Yes. And uh, we had this beautiful bandstand there. Mm. And I saw a picture of about 1920, a mm. band in the in the band, so it would be nice to bring back music. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, I can <coughs> approach the committee and they agreed. And uh, I didn't know anything, anything about pop music. At all. About music, not nothing, about pop. Not about pop. No, just about nothing. music. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I had heard of Just Ginger. Mm. Okay. Because Just Ginger had, I think, forgotten the word of the National Anthem. So I'd heard him at a rugby match. And so I contacted him and he said he'd love to come. But uh, he was then in California. Mm. So we did a lot of researching and that's how it started. Yeah. And we had a sponsor then from Remax and for two years. And I think the first one was hot water. Mm. Okay, wow. I think it was hot water. And we had about, I don't know, 1,500 people on the motion. Mm. And from that little acorn, it's grown to this huge tree. Huge tree. tree. Yeah. yeah. With huge In headliners as well. coming up now. Talk us, talk us about yes. that concert. I mean, you're, you're saying you, you started 11 years ago. Yes. How do you mm. maintain and its relevance, rather? Yeah. And what's, what's the difference between this one and, and the other that has days. come to pass? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is a big difference now. Okay. Um, um, not really that we would like to see, but there is a big difference. Because uh, in the present economic climate, we can't get sponsors. Yes. Mm. And the costs have absolutely gone through the roof, really. Yeah. Yeah. The, the poor musicians, you know, haven't done that amount over the last two years. And so it, 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 it's very, very expensive now. Mm. At the last one, which was two years ago, we did charge 25 rand. Yeah. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it, it's gone through the roof. But where you're going to see me, Casa, yeah. New Jersey, Prime Circle, right. yeah. all you know, in one, one place. Jimmy Nevis, all the people who are coming for 95 rounds. Yeah. Know. I think it's 99. Actually. 99. <laughs> it's <laughs> 99. such a treat. I think it's 99. It's a yeah. huge treat, I mean, for people who are living in Cape Town to check out the show. I know the initiative and Concerts in the Park is all about bringing people together through music. And how would you say, I mean, as you are at the moment, how would you say you're still keeping it going? You know, keeping at your the, age, at your, age, your you're passion, keeping the it drive. Going. Where do you get it all? Yeah. Where do I what? Where you do you get, get the passion, the drive, to keep the continuity? Going. Uh, well, there's two questions people are always asking me. You know? Yeah. One is, why do you do it? Because it's about 10, 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Yeah. For about eight months, for nothing. So the only person who ever could answer that question was my wife. She said, because he's an idiot. Mm. Oh, Which, no. And she was quite right. <laughs> yeah. The, it's grown, it was, I did everything originally, but now it, it's grown. There are people, professional people, okay. responsible for various areas of, of bringing on these concerts, and they're huge. It's so, huge. so basically, you're about. 
bringing people, people together. together. Yeah, basically yeah. your role is like, guys, let's make a great yes. concert in the park. Yeah. That's just your role there. Yeah, well, it's a lovely environment. It's yeah. in a bandstand. Mm. I mean, none of the artists have ever performed in a bandstand. Yeah, for a yes, start. an iconic bandstand, one that's been and there it, for a while. Yeah, it's a Victorian bandstand. And it's, 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 it's a bit different for them, to be honest with you. Yeah. I yeah. mean, their fate are as close as you and I. We, yeah. we really cannot wait to, to go, go to that yeah. event. There's no lights. Sure. There's no back cloth. It's them with the audio. Yeah. Just that. Close up and personal. Big Just challenge. Like that. Basically. Big challenge. Mm. For Ladies big. and gentlemen, right now, that is Mr. Mr. Charles, Charles Lindsay Bowman Thank giving us so a much. great detail as to the concerts in the park event taking place on the 4th of December. Yeah. Do make sure that you check them out on their socials. Do make sure that you go buy, buy that those ticket. tickets. Easy piece and very affordable. Yes. Right now, though, we have to go back to music.